What's up, fellow collectors? If you're seeing me on your YouTube screen, you already know what I'm here for. I'm here for another toy hunting video for you guys today. Um, this will actually be my second hunt since Hurricane Irma. Um, like I, I told y'all in the last video, to be honest, I don't think I will be buying too much on this hunt. I mean, it all depends on what I find, of course. There's things out there that if I find that I would just buy no matter what. But for the most part, Force Friday just passed by. As soon as Force Friday was, which I spent um, uh, close to a thousand dollars on Force Friday. So Force Friday just passed by. Now here I am at um, Hurricane Irma came. I had to spend a lot of money for that, and now I'm preparing for NYCC, which will be another big money grabber from me which is only, it's less than a month away. So if you're a pop collector like me, you need to go ahead and be getting prepared for that. Really, I would have already been getting prepared for it, but of course Irma came and swept away some of my funds that I had prepared for it. But anyway, right now I think I'm about to go to Toys R Us. Um, I was thinking about going to the mall and stuff, but I simply just don't feel like it right now. Um, places in my city are just now starting to open up so it's like everybody is out everybody and I know going in there it's just gonna be tons and tons of people that I just don't feel like being around I'm an introvert um, slash extrovert I love to joke around and laugh and you know act the ass sometimes but right now I just don't feel like being around tons and tons of people in the mall staring at me while I'm trying to make this video so I think I'm gonna go to go to some of the places on the outskirts basically which will be I'm gonna go to Toys R Us I might hit up a Walgreens matter of fact I might be going to the mall because um, I'm really late on this so it's probably already wiped out but I saw a lot of collectors were finding black series and pops at JC Penney's now like when did that become a thing I I've never ever seen any type of collectible at JC Penney's, but apparently ever since Force Friday, people have been finding Chase Porgs, which I'm trying to find my ninth Chase Porg now. I've gotten so many. I'm building a Chase Porg army. Well, I'm trying to find another Chase Porg. Um, you know, I never got Darth Ravan or Ravine or however the fuck you say his name. Um, I have no idea, like any, I don't have any like clue as to like who he really is or anything about the character because I didn't read those Star Wars books back then. But I wouldn't mind picking him up just because he's hard to find and he looks pretty badass for toy photography. Or who knows, I might even trade him off for one of the Wave 2 Last Jedi figures. But right now, about to go to Toys R Us first. Um, I came to Toys R Us since the storm ended, but today's the day they usually get trucks. It's on Friday. It's about 2.30, so they should have had time to put everything out. And other collectors should have had time to um, buy all the chases and stuff. <laughs> and buy all the good shit before I can get there, so... Whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, but basically, that's about it. Um, as far as the NYCC pops go... Uh, I'm not all that impressed by anything, honestly. Like, I see people are really, really hyped up over, like, the 8-bit Batman and stuff. But those 8-bit things kind of just look shitty to me. Um, for certain characters, 8-bit, yeah. You know, if it's, like, an old video game character. Where it's like, hold on, let me go ahead and say this. Don't get me wrong, I'm going to buy it, okay? I'm going to buy it, but... I'm just not that excited about it. Um, really, there's nothing out of NYCC that I was excited about until, until they dropped the wave with the Dragon Zord. Man, what the hell? I gotta get that. Um, it was a Dragon Zord. There was a um, what, what is his name? Ickus from All Real Monsters, the summer '90s baby. Got to snag that. I think like a Destro and like a a flock beast from he-man so all those things are must-haves for me that wave right there i need all of it but everything else i'm not really too sure um i'll be buying most of it anyway just because i'm that big of a collector but it's just nothing that i'm super ecstatic about 
But right now I'm about to walk into Toys R Us and we're going to see what we find. So join me once I get in there. Mm. I remember I watched the first season of this show and it was good. But after that I just gave up on it. I heard it went like all over the place and actually didn't even have that great of an ending. But as far as pops go, got to get that clay face one day. Um, it's really nothing here. I mean, there's tons of stuff here, but no chases or no new exclusives, which I'm looking for the new Kylo Ren exclusive. Uh, or any chases. Right now, I'm really not interested in getting any commons. I usually hold off on those for the most part until later on. Now, if you check your local Toys R Us, all the Black Series figures are buy one, get one half off. My Toys R Us still hasn't even put out even the first wave of The Last Jedi figures. And <clears throat> I'm starting to think because they have the sale going on, they don't want to put the new cases out. Because then everyone will try to take advantage of the sale. Which really sucks because I would love to get buy one, get one free Black Series new figures. But I cannot find them anywhere. Well, I can't find them at any Toys R Us. That doesn't mean I won't look. I'm still gonna get this eventually once it goes on clearance. As far as Marvel Legends go, we got this two pack. They're fully stocked up on the Ego two pack. Um, I wanted both of these two packs, but I really don't care about this Iron Man figure, so I'll just be buying this for the big ass head. And this over here, I want Ego, but I just got a Star-Lord. I don't know. If I find it a little cheaper than $40, then I'll definitely do it. Other than that, I'm going to hold out on it. Just all the same old-ass Marvel Legends here, basically. I'm ready for a new wave to hit. Hopefully, it'll be coming soon. Um, I don't know. What, what is the next wave? Like Spider-Punk or something? And they got this new power sword. $150 for this though. Shit's humongous, but I'm not paying $150 for this, but I mean it's definitely dope. It's definitely dope indeed. But not $150 dope, not to me at least. Maybe if you cosplayed or something. Alright, I'm out of Toys R Us now. Didn't really find anything. Well, when I was walking out, they had this table um, towards the front, which, now if you saw my video that I posted a couple weeks ago, someone had gone to my Toys R Us and snagged like the Build-A-Figure pieces out of like over at least 25 to 30 figs, man. Like just snagged all the Build-A-Figure pieces, like even like multiples of you know the same one and stuff so on this table was these marvel legends and dc multiverse figures that were all missing their builder figure pieces so i just for the hell of it i picked it up and went to see like you know the prices on them because they had a few that um, I didn't necessarily need the build a figure pieces for But some of them were actually missing like accessories and stuff too, so I just didn't know what to do but for five bucks For five bucks I picked up Batman from the new Justice League movie now I'm not I don't really give a shit about Stephen Wolf. Um even though the builder figure looks dope, I'm just realistically I'm not about to buy all those figures to build it. Maybe when it goes on clearance. But five bucks, I went ahead and picked up that Batman, which five bucks you can't beat it. I'm a big Batman fan. Um I'll pay five bucks for it. I mean 
of course it would have been better just to have the build a figure anyway but it didn't so i can get over that and i got another figure which i didn't think i was going to get now this figure i need the build a figure piece for but like i've been telling y'all um i've been contemplating on not even finishing the build a figure and just saving the money to get the mezco version and anyway i got this jane foster thor As you can see, build a figure piece missing. But got her for even cheaper than Batman. She was about 480. But I mean after tax, of course, it was five something. But figure what the hell. You know, even just going loose on eBay without a build a figure piece, she's going for 15, 16 bucks. Um, so you know, five bucks. I picked her up. Um why not? You know, like I told y'all, I'm going to always pick up the Five Dollar Legends. Even if I got one already, I can use it for customizing or trading or, you know, maybe hold on to it. Down the line, you never know what might happen. But, picked those both up. So, I spent, after tax, about, um, I think about $11 on both those figs, which go $20 a piece. Mind you, I, I really could care less that the Batman didn't have the Build-A-Figure piece. Um, Jane Foster Thor, I wouldn't, I would have rather her came with the Build-A-Figure, of course. But she didn't, and that's something that I can totally live with. To be honest, I, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna lose no sleep over it. So, pick those two up, which I'm excited about. I really didn't think that I would be ever even getting those two figs for five dollars shit i got to i got to um i could probably even if it came down to it, i could probably do some type of trade and get that um the piece that i need for the hulk because i have a bunch of extra um build a figure pieces that i don't need because i know with a lot of people that collect marvel legends like they their whole plan is to, you know, build a build a figure. I only have about three or like three build a figures built, just simply because I don't even, you know, I just don't care. Like, um, some of them I feel like are must haves. Like the Hulk, that Hulk on um, build a figure is like a must have if they weren't coming out in other forms, you know, if there wasn't other companies making the action figures. So because I've gotten into Mezco lately, I can hold out on that. But like Vulture's wings, I had to complete that. Because I had Vulture and I was perfectly happy with them with him without wings. It's still a dope figure, but I just had to get those wings, especially after I saw the movie. So that was something I built. And I wanted to build the giant man builder figure. But don't get me wrong, I mean I would like to build all the builder figures, but I'm not gonna buy three or four figures that I could care less about at twenty dollars a piece just to build this builder figure. Like I'm good. I'll I pass on that all day. I got so much stuff that it's like, fuck it, you know? <laughs> Basically, that's how I feel. Like, so I don't, most of the builder figures I don't complete. And like, when they announce the new Marvel Legends waves, I really don't give a shit about what the builder figure is because I already know that each Marvel Legends wave is at least going to have two to three undesirable figures in there for me. Um,. This is basically usually how it is. Now, I wouldn't mind. I really wanted to build that Juggernaut, that Juggernaut build a figure um, back on that X Men wave. Never got around to it. There were still a couple figures I'm missing from that wave that I never bought. But then I saw, you know, there's like a Marvel Select version. So that's another thing that I can live without. Like, it would be cool to have, but I don't have it. So. I'll be alright. I can, I'll, like I said, I'll buy the Marvel Select version $24.99 um, and save me, you know, about 40 to 50 bucks. But yeah, um, also, Jane Foster Thor, she was actually one of those undesirable figures for me. Now, undesirable figures become very desirable when they're $5, okay? I'll go ahead and let y'all know that. Um, I'm just not like a 
a big fan of like the re-envisioning of all these Marvel characters as women. Um, it just feels lazy to me. And you know, I grew up with Iron Man as Tony Stark, you know, and Thor being Thor. Steve Rogers being Captain America. So when they do all that shit all the time on the Marvel comic books, it just gets, I don't know, it's kind of sickening to me. Like, why don't you build up the female characters that we already have, make new strong characters, stop just changing all these characters, you know, like it, it gets lazy to me. But right now I'm about to eat some Zaxby's. So see you later. But yeah, like, it seems to me every time I speak on that topic, I get a lot of backlash for it. It's like, like you hate women, blah, blah, blah. Like, why would I hate women? I'm a straight male living in America. Why would I hate women? I was birthed by a woman. I have a girlfriend. Like, I like women. The fuck? Stupid ass fucking ignorant people in today's society. You can't have an opinion without people going crazy over it. But it's more like what I like I like that there's there should always basically there should always be strong women characters you know women and girls and you know little kids like little girls need someone to look up to as well but what happened to creativity what I'm coming from is more of a from a creative standpoint like back in the day they could like at one point in time they had to create Batman they had to create spider-man and Wolverine and Iron Man. When does society all of a sudden stop creating new stuff? Like where's the new heroes at? Even in the 80s and 90s there was still new stuff coming out. Like Deadpool was created in the 90s. Um, so what I'm saying is like, are we here in 2017? And now there would just be, there would never be any more iconic heroes made or created. Like, it stumps my brain because, like, people have been liking Captain America and stuff since, like, what, 1940s and shit? Or maybe even, like, yeah, like 1940s, I think. He was um, made during World War II, I believe. So, like, and he, he, like Captain America will be known, will still be known hundreds of years from now. Is there any superheroes that will be made in, you know, 2017 that will be remembered in 3000, you know, like 3017 or in 2000, you know, like 2100s where they're like, there's no more iconic characters that are going to ever be made. Like we're always just going to have these same iconic characters that have been here forever. Like when... When is someone going to step up and make something new that will be remembered for years and years to come? It just stumps my brain. Because I don't... Like... I like to create stuff. Not necessarily create superheroes. But I like to write. I love collecting toys and I love making the videos, but another hobby for me is writing. I've always had a passion for writing. And I don't want there to be a day, which it seems like that's how it is now, that people just get comfortable and like, okay, we could write about Batman and Superman and Spider-Man. We don't need to sit down and make a new complex character that people can love. And oh, people kind of want something new. Let's just change Spider-Man and Batman into a woman. Like that's so like easy and like basic to me. So someone needs to step it up. If not, then I will have to do it myself. And we need to, like someone needs to create a new character that will be idolized like Batman and Spider-Man are now and have been for over 50 years. Someone needs to make a new, like something new. They just did. <laughs> But yeah, I'm about to um, eat my food real quick, and then I'm back out on the hunt. Sorry if I'm talking you guys' heads off, but it is what it is. All right, so now I'm on my way to Walgreens. Just got done eating my chicken wings. I'm feeling good, time to go to Walgreens. Um, 
Now, I went to another Walgreens the other day. I can't remember if I got on a video or not. I don't think I did. And they had happened to gotten their, like, horror, like, their Halloween stuff and their horror pops in. All they had was Five Nights at fucking Freddy's. <clears throat> now, if you like Five Nights at Freddy's, no offense to you, but I hate that shit. <laughs> I just simply hate it. Um, I can't, I guess I'm old school, but I can't understand why kids like that shit so much and why parents are so okay with their kids liking it. Um, now if you're a parent and your kids like Five Nights at Freddy's, I don't care. It doesn't bother me any, but it's just like, all right, you're a parent. You don't want your kids watching a YouTube video where someone says a cuss word, but you let your kids play this game and watch these series of basically demonic teddy bears killing people and stuff. That seems to be worse to me than saying shit on a YouTube video, but it is what it is. But it's so awkward to me because like, <clears throat> y'all know I toy hunt damn near every day. At some point in time in my day, I'm on some type of hunt for toys. I go to Toys R Us four, maybe five times a week sometimes. Maybe one out of four times do I even see a single kid at Toys R Us. Like, it's crazy because I see more kids in places where kids shouldn't be than kids inside of Toys R Us. It's like, what, y'all don't like Toys R Us? Like, what the hell? Like, the pinnacle of my childhood was like, the best part was like when I got to go to Toys R Us. Like, I'd be so happy. But anyway, one out of four times I go to Toys R Us will I even see a single kid in there. Like, maybe even like less. But then when I do see kids in there, I don't see kids going to look at Spider-Man toys and the Marvel Legends and or the Star Wars stuff or the Batman stuff. What do I see kids wanting and buying? Five Nights at Freddy or Five Nights at Freddy's or Sister Location or whatever the fuck you call it. And it's like, it's crazy to me like kids literally give no fucks about superheroes no more. They wanna buy these evil teddy bears and I don't know, it's just, it's weird to me somewhat. And it's like, I mean, any of y'all can tell that the newer generation of kids coming up, they're getting worse and worse. Um, you know, like the murder rate has gone up a lot in different places, especially in my city, like, we have one of the highest murder rates in America. Now, per capita, you know, cause we don't have as many people here in Chicago and Baltimore, you know, and like certain parts of California and New York, we don't have that many people here. Our population isn't that high, but per capita, like we have like one of the highest murder rates. Like there's at least like a couple people getting murdered every day here. And if you're raising a generation of kids who don't care about superheroes, but they're obsessed with murdering teddy bears, then maybe, just maybe, there will be a connection to that problem there. I'm not saying there is, I'm not saying there isn't. But I mean, if you want to blame stuff like rap music for kids being violent these days, can't you blame stuff like that? When I was growing up, I used to watch the Spider-Man animated series, one of my favorite shows. Now you could go look this up right now, I'm not lying. There was only maybe four to six punches, punches thrown on that whole series. That series went on for like a good minute. Hardly ever did you even see Spider-Man punch somebody let alone kids growing up watching teddy bears stab people in the neck and stuff. But, hey, it is what it is. It's just kind of awkward to me. And it's crazy that it just, like, 
I know there's a niche of people that like stuff like that and that's cool because I like horror movies and if you're grown you like that cool even if you're a kid and you like that whatever you know it doesn't bother me it's just weird to me that that could blow up so big so like I don't know it's it just kind of pisses me off um because I, I know some people don't have the luxury of having these stores all around them like a lot of people other people do but if you have that luxury you need to go take advantage of it support these businesses that sell the things that we love so much amazon does not need your toy sales to stay afloat okay amazon's gonna be here regardless if you're buying a marvel legends from them or not amazon's gonna be here regardless if you order that graphic novel from them or not these other stores aren't gonna be here if you don't buy stuff from them they need the support Go support your local comic book shops and your local toy stores and your local Toys R Us before it's too late. Well, I got excited for a second because I thought it was a Walmart exclusive Sally, but it's just regular Sally. I see, actually, they have the Walmart exclusive Behemoth, but I got the New York Comic Con version, which looks basically the same. I don't know the difference besides maybe it glows in the dark, but nothing special. So, Walgreens was a bust. They had tons and tons of crates of stuff they're about to put out. And you guys know me, I'll dig through that stuff, you know, to find what I'm looking for. But see, these crates here at Walgreens, they're not like boxes with labels so you know what's on them. They're just like plastic crates for some reason. So, who knows what the hell was in them? I didn't even go in them. Um, I did see that Behemoth Pop, didn't hop on it. Um, I'm really looking for it, the it pop. Man, I cannot find it anywhere. Like, of course I want the chase, even though there's nothing different about the chase and that whole, oh, this chase, um, Funko isn't making it anymore, these chases because licensing issues, but they'll make the same exact pop with a little more color to it. Like, all that licensing issue bullshit is bullshit. But we're not gonna get into that rant. Because <laughs> I will talk about it all day. But I can't even find a common it pop in my town. Like, literally can't even find the common version. Why? I don't know. I guess everybody's going crazy over it, literally. But I would like to at least find the common version. But I cannot find that shit anywhere. You know, between Think Geek, five different Game Stops, two different EBs, two different Targets, five different Walmarts, Barnes and Nobles, Best Buy, just all these places, you know, five Walgreens, I can't find a single It Pop, which fucking sucks. And I don't like ordering pops over the computer, like I just don't, because I'm a toy hunter at heart, and I don't like ordering stuff off the computer, just like we talked about earlier. Um, when it's something that you have to order online, I will, like when I don't have a store. Um, and yeah, like sometimes I utilize eBay for old school stuff that I can't find anywhere around here, but I save money by not ordering stuff online because basically I have this, I have an etched in my head. If I don't find it in person, then I just don't find it, you know? Now, so, I'm not gonna say I've never broken down and bought something online, because I have, you know? But for the most part, I have a rule like, oh, if I don't find it in person, then they fuck it, basically. And that's how I save a lot of money, because if it wasn't for that, I would buy the stuff I find in person, and the stuff I didn't find that I was looking for, I would order it online, and my house would be completely filled to the roof, every room with action figures and pops. But, um, I don't know where I'm gonna go now. I really don't feel like going into JCPenney's at all. I just don't, I don't know why. I just didn't wanna even go towards the mall. But I know I need to go in there and look for the, those things. But I'm not sure if I'm going to. Um, I do wanna to go to Best Buy. Um, just I've been watching a lot of horror movies. We were just talking about Friday Nights at Freddy's. But before the hurricane, like a days leading up to the hurricane, me and my girl just watching a bunch of horror movies, you know, a bunch of slasher films, you know, the things I grew up with, like Friday the 13th and Halloween and Nightmare Before Christmas. And don't get me wrong, I haven't heard anything about anything coming out, but I kind of wanted to see if I can go maybe find 
one of those movies like on Steelbook or something. Maybe they put one out because Halloween season is, season is coming. I highly doubt it, but I mean, I'm bored, so I'm just going to go try and see if I could find something like that. Maybe a collector's edition or something. I was actually about to buy... I was wanting to buy a Freddy Krueger action figure over at Toys R Us earlier, but it's gone now. I sat on that shit for months and months and months. You know, never hopped on it. And then as soon as I wanted to hop on it, it's gone, of course. But it is what it is. I also wanted that NECA Jason Voorhees figure, but that's gone as well. <sighs> so we're gonna see what we're gonna find. Um not sure exactly where I'll be popping up to next, but you'll find out in the next clip. I actually decided to come to JC Penney's. No Darth Ravine here. No last Jedi pops. All right, so I'm out of JC Penney's. Didn't get much footage in there. They didn't have much more than what I showed you. They had like two last Jedi pops that were trashed to death, plus I already have them anyway. But it's nice to see that they had some Black Series figures in there. They actually had one or two that I wouldn't mind buying, but nothing that I wanted to hop on right now today. Uh, plus the rest of the stores just closed, and not to mention that they blare music in there loud as hell, so it wasn't really no point in getting much footage in there. So yeah, now, I've gone to the three places that I've set out to go to today. Didn't have much luck other than, you know, I found those two $5 figures. Um, so I'm gonna go to Best Buy. I don't know if I'll even get footage in there at all, not sure. Um, I'm thinking about going to see it tonight. I already went to go see it. <laughs> Literally, I already went to go see it the other day. But I was drunk as hell, like, I had, I got, you know, together with one of my friends that I've known for a long, long time. We hadn't hung out in a while. Then I was with other friends as well. But me and him got so drunk together and we acted an ass. I'm surprised we didn't get thrown out of the movie theater. Um, but we got so drunk that I can't even remember the movie. I remember one or two parts and I remember that for the most part of what I can remember that it was good and enjoyable and scary but I wanted to do like a review for it you know either on here or on my Instagram and I wanted to actually sit down and enjoy it with a sober mind so I'm going to probably go see it again I'm not sure if I'll go see it today or tomorrow I'll go see it again sometime this weekend maybe I'll wait to Tuesday because Tuesday they have like five dollar movies so I don't want to pay full price again to go see it, but definitely need to go see it again. From what I can remember, which is only about 10 minutes of the movie, it was good. So yeah, definitely got to go see that again. Definitely. But yeah, nothing in, um, nothing really worthwhile in JCPenney's. It's good to know that they actually had, do have Black Series and stuff now, so I'll be checking those, that place out now from now on a little bit more. But for right now, I think I'm going to go to Best Buy, like I said. Not sure what footage I'll get in there, but check with me when I get to the Best Buy. A couple of the new Black Series, just Old Man Luke and Darth Vader here. Nothing really that I need, nothing special at all. Tons of the Best Buy exclusive King here at the Cape. They got like one, two, three, four, five, six. They got like seven of them. They got the standard Kyle two pack over here, which I told myself I was gonna buy if I find it. I'm gonna leave it behind today, but I'm definitely gonna get this eventually. Well, I'm out of Best Buy. Um, didn't grab any toys in there, but I grabbed this on Blu-ray for me and my girl to watch tonight. Um, I have no idea like anything about it. I see it just came out. It won like a bunch of horror festival awards. From the description, it seems somewhat like a like a slasher film, somewhat. So, figured I'd pick that up. And last but definitely not least, I told y'all I was looking and hoping I could find like some horror steel books, and I found this. I don't know. You can't see that. Uh, 
creature from the Black Lagoon. Um, the still book was just amazing. I'm a big fan of like old school movies too. I'm a big movie buff. Like, I love movies. I just love making videos. I love the art of film. So I figured, you know, this would be a good pickup right here. Go home and watch this old school black and white movie. But those are my two pickups from Best Buy. I didn't hop on none of the pops. I didn't hop on anything else that I saw in there, but I'm happy with what I got. Now, I'm going to go home, bring it into this little toy hunting adventure slash Blu-ray hunting adventure. But yeah, I'm gonna go home, pop in this creature from the Black Lagoon and relax for the rest of the day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you learned anything from this this video, if you took anything from this video, remember to go support your local comic book shops and toy stores and video game stores. Even GameStops are having to close down hundreds of locations, all because people rather download video games right onto their system instead of buying physical copies, which makes no sense to me. But yeah. Support your local stores. And I'm not talking Walmart. Walmart doesn't need your, you to buy video games. Target doesn't need you to buy toys. Neither does Walmart. But, you know, the local toy stores, local comic book shops, and even Toys R Us, they need our help. Um, so, before you go buy something offline, try to buy it from those places. But anyway, I'm done talking you guys' heads off about that. I know you're probably sick of me. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, you need to subscribe. There's a lot of cool stuff coming. I do toy hunts, Blu-ray hunts, toy unboxing, toy reviews, all type of shit to come. Um, there's a lot of new things I'm going to be doing with this channel, but we'll talk about that later on. So be sure to subscribe. And as always, you have a good day, YouTube.